Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab. Today's topic of discussion is on an experiment. The title of the experiment is Performing an Initial Switch Configuration. Look at the title here. We are using the word Initial Switch. The brand new switch is getting configured here. First place the switch. Now since for the first time this switch has to get configured, you want to set passwords can be set for different modes like password can be set for the privilege mode then password can be set for the line console and password can be set for the virtual teletypes so let us see how to do all these four different types of password settings for the switch now since you are using the cisco packet tracer you can click to the switch and start doing this particular setting of password in the cli mode but remember in real it is not possible to directly use the switch. You need to access the switch using a terminal. For that reason, we'll take one PC, place the PC here. And now you need to connect the PC with the switch and try to access the switch using the PC. So what is that you'll be doing here? Now to connect also, since this is a different type of connection, totally different type of connection from the previous ones, you will be selecting this console cable here. It, this type of accessing the switch is possible only through the console cable. So select, click to the PC. See, normally for all the other connections, you were using the port fast Ethernet 0. But now you will be using this port RS-232. And then you will be connecting the other end of this cable to the console of the switch. So this is how you have to make the connection and now try to access the switch using this pc all the four different types of passwords we'll try to do in this experiment the very first one okay let me go to the conf uh, desktop go to the command terminal okay click to okay you will get a screen of this kind press enter see this is what you got here the switch now you are able to access the switch now the very first thing we'll try to do is normally by default the word switch will appear suppose if you want to change the name for this switch you need to use a command called as the host name but the host name has to be typed only under the global configuration mode the very first mode that is appearing here is the user mode then you will be typing the command enable press enter you will get a prompt of this kind hash this is the global con uh, sorry this is the privilege mode now you have to type the command configure terminal press enter you will be taken into the global configuration mode if this word config is appearing here then you are in the global configuration mode let me keep this at one side of the screen you can always have a look at the network setup also parallelly now what is that you will be doing the very first thing is you want to change the name for this switch you want to give a different name so you have to use the command host name followed by what name you want to give to this switch next we'll see how to set the password now to set the password first let us come out from this global configuration mode exit so that i can tell you from where exactly you need to begin to do this password setting to set the passwords also you need to be in the global configuration mode presently you are in the user mode so what is that you will be doing type enable you are in the privilege mode now type configure terminal you are in the global configuration mode now so you have to set the password we'll try to set the password in a plain text enable password now what password you want to give you need to type here so i have decided i'll give csc123 enter exit so later i'll tell you how to use the password when you are trying to access the switcher now let us see how to set the password in the encrypted form once again you need to be in the global configuration mode so i was in the global configuration mode mode only earlier but intentionally i just went back to the user mode wanted to start from the first step onwards so type enable privilege mode 
look here this is what i wanted to show you the moment you try to enter into the privilege mode you will be prompted to enter the password you need to enter the password here only then you will get access to the privilege mode so we have type csc123 see now it is possible for you to enter into the privilege mode right now next thing we'll do is uh, we'll set the password in the encrypted form for that you need to be in the global setting of password always you need to be in the global configuration mode so let me go to the global configuration mode configure terminal for oh, spelling mistake configure terminal you are in the global configuration mode and how to set this password type the command enable then i'll type the command secret followed by what password you want to give so i wanted to give csc12345 okay this is the password i have decided to give for the secret type press enter fine the password is set now you have to check whether it will prompt you for the password or not for that first come out from this global configuration mode okay now you are in the privilege mode exit so this is what is the starting user mode now let us do let us type the command enable now first thing is this password will be what csc123 that is the very first one it will prompt only for the privilege mode so you type csc123 okay it is asking once again so here what exactly has happened i'll tell you first time when i typed the password csc123 it did not accept second time i tried doing once again csc123 only it did not accept third time when i typed csc12345 it is accepted and it is allowing me to access in the privilege mode the reason is whatever password you have set the second time that will be always taken as the final one that means the previous password which you have set in the plain text form is now getting replaced with what the password that you have set for the secret suppose if you have started giving first the password for the secret and then next to the password for the plain text then the plain text password would would have got prompted here the latest one will be considered here for you to enter into the privilege mode fine so this is all about the setting of these two passwords next we'll see that see normally what this is the console okay physically you are there near to the switch you want to access the switch that means through this console port if you are accessing you need to set a password for the console port also for that what is the procedure first thing is you need to be in the config mode so let us do config config let us go to the global configuration mode configure terminal now the procedure is the step the command line is like this so you will be typing the command line as line console 0 press enter you can check the mode of access here it has come to the line configuration mode and now here you can set the password so password setting is simply type the command password followed by what password you want to give here so this time i will give csc xyz okay. csc xyz is the password for the line console press enter this password should get prompted at the login time that's why we'll use the command login and then we'll exit right we'll exit further to see whether it will prompt at the login time exit so this is the starting thing you will get once you try to click the switch or access the switch press enter you can see here earlier you were able to get at least into the user mode now not now even that is not possible first you have to type the password only then you will be taken into the further modes of access so here you will be typing mode what is that we decided uh, what is that we had given csc xyz press enter now it will take you to the user mode so this is how you have to set the password for the line console and next thing is 
see this is physically trying to access the switch using the console port if it is remote login even for that we need we can set the password how to set that password first go to the global configuration mode enable now remember this is the one which i told you know it will be prompted at only after the user mode and what is that you will be write csc 12345 okay you will be taken into the privilege mode now you have to go to the config global configuration mode configure terminal now you are in the global configuration so here what is that the this is the one more type of password setting for the remote login so the command line is line vty vty stands for virtual teletypes 0 and 0 and 15 two numbers we are typing there are possible 16 remote access 16 remote access are possible to the switch all the 16 access you can give one password or if you want you can just give for the first five access 0 to 4 as one password and the next set of lines another password like that you can give different pass passwords also for each uh, group of lines or for all the lines you can set one pass trying to set one password for all the 16 lines so line vty 015 press enter now what is that you will be doing you will use the command password right so here i'll give a different password csc p q r okay and this password will also definitely get prompted only during the login time because the earlier one was physically you are trying to access the switch using the console line here you are trying to access that is the remote access using this virtual teletype lines so for that reason definitely this will also get prompted only during the login time press enter so you have to write here login fine exit let so now let us see whether we will be able to uh, use the password that we have set since now we are accessing through the console port whatever password you have set for the console you need to type here during the login time it is csc xyz will be taken into the user mode so this is how you need to set the passwords for all the four different situations we wanted to give one more information so for that let me try to access the login uh, access the switch sorry so during the login time it will prompt you for to enter the password type the password here csc xyz you will be taken to the user mode now you want to use the privilege mode once again it will ask you the password so that was csc 12345 this was the password that we had set so it will take you to the privilege mode suppose here if you type the command show running config then you can see here host name is csc switch this is what you had done and the secret password definitely since it is a secret it is in encrypted form you are not able to read here if someone is standing beside you and if they wanted to see they are unable to find figure it out next you had set the plain text password as csc123 so the secret is here okay in the encrypted form the plain text password is here and all the other interface all the port numbers for that switches are shown here okay so this way you can check the and uh, yeah there is one more thing see line console password we had set as csc xyz it is appearing and that also during the login prompt for virtual teletypes the password set is csc pqr so we had set completely for all the 16 lines 0 to 15 as csc pqr only here it is just splitting 0 to 4 is csc pqr and 5 to 15 is also csc pqr so this way you can check the configurations whatever you have carried out during the session so this is all about the this is all about the experiment which i wanted to explain in today's session hope you find this session useful if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care